What's up people, it's Ulysses here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is back day. We're gonna grow some wings, but the focus is gonna be on back thickness. So I'm gonna give you a lot of roll variations that you can do to get that back thickness and make your back look impressive. Let's go. First movement is pull-ups to warm up. I wanna get that stretch. I wanna get that squeeze. It's just a natural movement for your body to get into the rhythm of training back. You cannot have a thick back without doing some kind of row movement. So we're gonna start with barbell row for that thickness and that power movement for back. With all my workouts, guys, as a beginner, make sure you're doing three sets. Um, if you're intermediate or advanced, you wanna do four or five sets and keep your rep range between six to 10. Now we're gonna go into one-arm dumbbell rows. Now one arm dumbbell rows is great because you can isolate the back furthermore, go as heavy as you can, and really get the squeeze at the top and the stretch at the bottom. This movement is crucial. It's gonna stretch out your back and also work on the thickness as well. If you're following me for the first time or you haven't been in my channel for a while, make sure you hit that subscribe button, all right? Like, comment, and let me know the kind of videos you want me to bring you. Next movement is lat pull down. So usually after a couple of row, heavy row movements, I, go, I switch it up. And so this time we're gonna do some wide lat pull downs. As much as this workout is focused on back thickness, we wanna work on width as well and throw in a width movement in there. Get that squeeze at the bottom and really, really stretch out the back. Also for lat pull down guys, you can do a wide grip, you can do a close grip. I'm focusing on wide grip today because um, the focus is thickness, but I wanna throw in some kind of width on there. You can also do this movement close for that inner middle back thickness. For those that are following me that, you know, been frustrated about their training, been frustrated about their diet, you can now get my customized training program and meal plan at iamdedicated.ulyssesworld.com. That's iamdedicated.ulyssesworld.com. Make sure you check out that website, sign up, and you get your own customized training program and meal plan every single month, okay? Then we go into cable row. Cable row is great. Now again, what I love to do with my cable row movement is to do your standard cable row. Today I'm using a dual machine, and then I go into a unilateral cable row, and this again stretches out the lats, get, really get that, that, that stretch, that pull and that stretch on the lats, and I like to isolate. If you know me, I love to isolate the muscle. That mind-muscle connection is always there. So when I do my standard cable row, I switch it up and isolate and get that stretch on the lats as well, all right? That's usually a finisher for me, but today it's not. I really wanted to feel it. I went heavy and you know, I can really feel the stretch on my lats. Give that a try, trust me, you'll feel it. Next movement is a machine movement. Now, with this workout, I give, I'm giving you guys so many different row variations. With this machine movement, you can actually load in different phases of the machine. I love this machine. If your gym has this row machine, make sure you use it. And make sure you try the different variations where you can load the weight so you can get the squeeze at different part of the movement.
last but not least, and this is a really underrated movement that a lot of people don't do. If you're old school, you know about dumbbell pullovers. Now you could do this movement for chest, you could do it for back. The more you actually increase your range of motion for this movement, the more you're gonna stretch the back. So it's, it can work for a back movement, it can work for a chest movement. And I love to do this for my back movement at the end. So today I switched it up. Um, instead of doing like a cable finisher, my finisher for back was dumbbell pullovers. And I just love the stretch that I got. Again, because this focus, this workout is more back thickness because of so much row variations that I did, I wanted to do something to get that stretch. And, and I thought dumbbell pullovers work perfectly to finish up the workout. I hope you guys like this workout. If you do, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys want me to bring you and I'll be able to bring it to you every week. Thank you so much for all the continued support, guys. Until next time, 